What's up, everyone? I hope you all had a great weekend so far. For today's video, we're going to be doing the weekly recap of the stat modeling program. There was a whole lot of selling pressure in the market last week, which is uh, which has definitely been the norm over the past couple of weeks and the past couple of months. So with that being said, let's jump right into today's recap. Uh, there was only like a small update with the swings for this week. I closed out of the GLD position. It ended up being a little bit over a 100% winner, which is great. It was a very short-term trade. GLD popped to the upside in a perfect way. Uh, there was really no drawdown with this trade. Nice and easy and uh, definitely no complaints there. So great job to everyone who capitalized off of this. GLD is continuing to move up even higher now while we're not in the trade anymore. Um, it's definitely moving with some power. So keep a close eye on it. But that is the only update for the swings side of things. Uh, shifting over into the hybrid bot plays. Uh, this week was decent. It wasn't like the best week ever, but it definitely wasn't bad. Uh, Monday's play with SQQQ was definitely a dud. And then Friday's play with Disney was also a dud. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday's plays worked out pretty well. The Tuesday play with SQ popped for around a little bit over 20%. Uh, the play on Wednesday with SQQQ was the best play of the week. It was a 52% pop, so definitely no complaints there, and it uh, worked perfectly. And then with the last one, we had Alibaba on Thursday, which popped up for around uh, just, we could say, just under 32%. So, you know, with everything being said, pretty good week on that side of things. And as the volatility increases in the market, as the price action gets more... I guess you could say filled with momentum that'll just make for even better um, intraday opportunities going forward. And then with the last part of the recap, of course, we have the premium selling side of things, you know, the theta trading as we call it. Uh, basically selling put options is hands down the best strategy out there when done correctly. You literally get paid to buy stocks at low prices, and when done the correct way, it is hard to lose over long periods of time um, because, you know, the stocks that you're selling the put options go up, the prices that you should be selling those put options at should be prices that you're fine holding, so that is like a win-win there, but on top of that, you literally get paid a premium and a pretty good premium to do that, and even if you do get assigned, there are many ways to adjust the position where it becomes even more advantageous for you, whether it is rolling the position, uh, adjusting in other more complex ways. You could say selling covered calls as well, and there's a whole bunch of stuff you could do with it. But selling put options is the best strategy out there when done correctly. Uh, for the recent plays, you know, Hunter's been doing great as usual. Um, the recent sell-off that we've had in the market has presented even more good short put opportunities. Um, you know, stocks like PayPal are down a ton from highs. We also have other opportunities out there like Chewy and PENN, maybe even Disney if you're up for it. But, you know, with everything being said, um, the current price action that we're seeing now is great for short puts. And if it continues to... Um, if the market continues to fall, that'll present even more great opportunities for shorting put options. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.